Hello and welcome to the class of LTE resource block. So today in this class we are going to discuss about resource block. So first of all what is a resource block? Resource block is basically a unit of frequency and time in which you will be allocated with particular frequency for a particular duration of time. Now let's discuss about resource block. If we have discussed about LT frame. So in LT frame, we have 10 slots. Now, the complete duration of this is 10 millisecond. So what about the duration of one? So if we talk about this duration is one millisecond. So in this one millisecond, now we have to find out where our resource block is. So suppose this is a complete one. Here I have one. I will say this is my subframe 0. So on up to I have subframe 9. So in subframe 0, now this subframe is of 1 millisecond. So Now this 1 millisecond is we divided into two parts. We call 0 0.5 millisecond and 0 0.5 millisecond. Millisecond. That means it was it has been divided into two parts, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. suppose this is uh, I will make a time axis over here so and I will make frequency axis over here now I need to divide the time so one millisecond I will divide like this this is of 0 0.5 and this is of 0 0.5 milliseconds so this is a duration now in the 0 0.5 milliseconds so we have a carriers we have 1 to 12 that means we have 12 sub carriers okay 12 sub carriers now each carrier is of 15 kilohertz so 15 multiplied by 10 becomes 180 that means this is of 180 kilohertz now this is a frequency so i'm writing here this is 180 kilohertz for 0 0.5 millisecond now sub carriers as we know that we have ofdme for frequency so these carriers are further divided into number of ofdme symbols So these are divided into seven, seven OFDM symbols. That means we have a small set of frequency and a time by division this. So this unit of frequency and time, smaller unit of frequency and time, this is my RE, we call it as resource element. And this block, that means complete block which will carry our data, this will be resource block. 
So resource block is basically a unit of frequency and a time. Frequency we are having, time we are having. So it will carry my data, signaling everything. So which will carry resource element, which is a smaller unit in resource block. This will carry my element. Other than this, for purpose, we have some specified defined uh, reference symbol. So reference symbol will be there for broadcasting purposes. So this is a resource block. Now the question is that where we have these 12 subcarriers. So as in the last class, when we were discussing about the total number of like in 20 megahertz, the total number of carriers we have in 20 megahertz, we have 1200. Then in 15 megahertz, we have 900. 10 megahertz, we have 600 and so on up to. When I go through the common factor of this, that means HCF of 1200, 900, 600, so on up to, the common factor is 12. As we require equal divisions in each and every band, that's why I have divided into 12 subcarriers. So, If I make it for 20 megahertz, like I have how many subcarriers? 1200 subcarriers. So suppose these are my 1200 subcarriers. From 1 to 1200. Now, as per the common factor, we are dividing into group of 12. This is 12, 12. So 1200 divided by 12 which comes as a number as 100 that's why for 20 megahertz we have 100 rbs the resource blocks which are the unit of frequency and time so this is a resource block what what is resource block unit of frequency and time which will carry our data accordingly like we have for 20 megahertz we can calculate for different different bandwidth more the bandwidth, more the number of resource block, more the capacity. So, this is LT resource block. Thank you so much.